Today we're going to have a look at this pen, uh, which I thought, sorry, this pen, uh, which was sent to me by Ian Sean of Sean Dizigin. Sean Dizigin. No, it's design! Yes, I know that. I was just kidding. Sean Design, okay? Sean Design. In Philadelphia, in the USA, pens are designed there, pens are made there. Uh, they use Yovo nibs, so German nibs, but designed, made in Philadelphia. And that's pretty much it. We did a podcast, Eric and I, and Ian Schoen, the owner of the company, was there. We were talking, and he said, let me send you a pen. And I said, you do that. And that was kind of fun. So he did that. I have the pen. I will tilt the camera down. I will show you the parts of the pen. I will do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like, what I don't like about this pen. Let's get started. Okay, so here we go with the Schoen Design Pocket 6. So what do you get? You get a couple things. Uh, there was this little card, which I thought was actually really nice. I, I like that. Uh, it, it says, Happy New Pen Day. Thanks for helping me live my dream as an independent manufacturer of fine pens. Um, from Ian Chong, uh, which I think is really nice. It, it, it gives you know, the impression that, that you're buying from someone who cares, which, which is really nice, right? I like the box. Simple plastic box. Uh, but that's... So you get your, your pen in here. Um, I don't recall, no, I was going to say, I don't think it was in there, like this. So there was this in there, and then there was my additional section, and there was a cartridge. So that's pretty much it. Here is a spare, oops, a spare section that I will come back to. I'm just leaving that out so I don't forget. And here we have the pen now. It's kind of a small pen, so I'll zoom in a bit. Here you have that pen next to a Pilot Parallel, so you can see this definitely is a smaller pen. Pocket 6, pocket for pocket because it's a small pen, and 6 for number 6 nib, which uh, I think is um, uh, quite nice. Definitely pocketable, designed, machined in Philadelphia in the United States. And it's uh, aluminium, you can also say aluminium if you want, and then it has this ribbed brass section. I will put on that section in just a sec. So, what do we have? Parts of the pen. On top, same material as the rest of the cap. I really enjoy this finish. It, it's, it has a certain, I don't know, cosmological feeling to me, which I really like. You have this line here for the cap, you have this line here, and that makes for a very nice balance, in my mind. They have this little middle piece and they have this end, and of course you have the threads at the end. This is kind of flat. Is it really flat? Yes, it will stand up. And of course you can use that, whoops, you can use that to post the pen. And when you post it, you actually have a normally sized pen. Not the world's biggest pen, but a pen that is very usable, I would say. Brass looks cool uh, if you really want to see the standard section. If you don't mind, just for the sake of time, I'm not going to pull out the nib right now, but I, I will try to do that in the picture so you can see it there. Uh, that's what the normal section would look like, which is a classic hourglass-shaped uh, section, which is um, silver anodized aluminum. So, there you have that. This pen would set you back $120 in this configuration. Medium nib, Yovo, plastic feed, nib is in the section quite deeply. Standard international short cartridges, long will not fit. They have it. Now, let's do a little bit of a writing sample. Sorry about the weird stain, that's from a previous review, you'll have to forgive me. So, what do we have? We have the... there's no clip. Uh, I say that because I didn't go over it, but there is no... there's no clip. The Schoen Design uh, Pocket 6. The nib is medium and the ink is something. This is a cartridge, came with the pen. I don't know what ink it is, okay? So don't ask me because I don't know. It is a really nice, really nice color. So I'm probably going to have to ask Ian what it is because I do really like it. In any case, a smooth writer, nice steel nib, That writes nicely. It's a Yovo nib. There's nothing fancy about it. It's not rebranded or anything. It's just a blank uh, imprint, if that makes sense. Bit of fast writing, just to see how well the nib and feed keep up.
and there you go. I haven't really seen any skips. And to be honest, this sums up my, my experience with the pen. I put the cartridge in, I wrote with it, and I haven't had any issues since. No hard starts, nothing. So that is actually really, really cool. Not the world's wettest writer, not the world's driest writer, but a nicely adjusted pen. As always, much care, but you can squeeze out a little bit of line variation, should you want to, but it's not a flex nib. There is a flex nib available, as I understand it. Uh, I saw that in our podcast, if I remember correctly, but that's a while ago. Uh, finally, reverse writing, for those of you who enjoy that. There you go. Possible, gets a bit scratchier, gets a bit drier, but I think you can get away with a couple of words before the nib really runs dry. And that's pretty much it. So, I appreciate it. Let's talk about what I like and what I don't like. Okay, what do I like, what do I not like about the Shown Design Pocket 6? There's a lot of things I like, there's not so many things I don't like. I mean, it's a cute pocket pen and it does exactly what it, what it advertises, right? This is ink, by the way. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, it's ink. It's a pocket pen. You can put it in your pocket and that's pretty much all there's to it. It's a small pen, right? And that's its charm. So that's it. Uh, it's rugged, aluminum, light, quite strong, kind of nice, will age nicely, right? Let it develop a dent or a scratch or whatever. That's the charm of this pen. This is not a collector's piece. This is a user's pen, which I really like. I like that as a concept. Very important for any pen, it writes well. And what can I say? Out of the box, this pen wrote well. Nice nib, writes properly, uh, came with the cartridge, so that's it. Uh, what else do I want to say? There's, I, I really like this finish. I, I, um, it reminded me of, of some sort of cosmological scene, you know, nebula, etc. So, uh, uh, nebulae, I suppose. So that, I, I really like, that really appealed to me, I, I really enjoyed that. And what I also really like is that it has a very tight closure. If you're going to put this in your pocket, it would be really nice if it didn't accidentally unscrew and start to stay in your pocket. I have had that happen with a pen once. It's not pleasant. So, uh, especially if you wear something like beige pens or something that's not jeans and the ink actually starts to seep through your pocket and everybody wonders why you have a giant green stain on your hip. Uh, again, speaking from experience. So I don't believe that would happen with this pen because this really is a, a tight, not unpleasant, but just a, a proper tight closure, which I think is really nice. Things I don't like. Um, there isn't much because I found it's a very pleasant pen. It's fun to use. It's, it's, it's cute. Um, what I would not mind seeing, but this would go against everything the pen stands for, but is doing something like what Caveco has done with the Supra Brass or what Inventory has done with the pocket pen. They have these extender pieces which you can put in between to extend the barrel. I wouldn't mind that because for me, even when posted, it's not the world's biggest pen. I think that would be nice, but of course it's a pocket pen, so that would kind of defeat the point of a pocket pen. But in the future, I think that would be fun, because if it turns out that this is something you don't want to put in your pocket, you just want to keep it home on your desk, then I think that extension piece would be very nice. And if you want to take it with you, you just take that out and you use it, you, you, you don't use it, I suppose, right? I think that would be, would be nice. Um, it is a little bit of an issue to find a converter that fits, the Caveco squeeze converter fits, but those things hold like three drops of ink or something, so that, that doesn't do much, but I mean, yeah, that's the downside to a pocket pen like this, right? There's barely any space for a, a converter, so that, that would not work. Of course, you can refill a cartridge, I mean, I know there's all these options, right? Final thing I would say is the nib is really in there very deeply, right? It's in the section very deeply and, um, yeah. I, I personally like to see my nibs, I don't like hooded nibs, so I would like it if that would stick out more, but of course that would make the pen longer, and I fully understand that that's the that design considerations there as well. Having said that, uh, it's not cheap at $120, I mean that's, uh, um, that's, that's for, for a, a, a tiny pen, that's, that's quite a lot of money, but on the other hand it is machined, it's, it's, it's 
carefully designed, carefully made, uh, so you, you, you will pay a bit more for the, the, the quality of that, and I will say the quality is very high. It's, it's a solid pen, nothing is sharp, uh, it, it fits together well, all the threads work really well and very comfortably. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't found, really had any issues with cross-threading or anything, so all of that is really neatly designed. So I like it. I think it's a fun pen to fiddle around with and to, to play with. There you have it. Ian, thanks a lot for sending me this pen. Guys, I hope this was useful and uh, I'll gladly see you later.